about what God is doing here at Religious Global Church. We are Pastors Lee Ward and Betty, and we are so grateful to have you on the air on this morning. We ask that you will just press that share button with your family and friends. We would love to connect with them, the Word of God, as well as, let me give you this announcement, Pastor, if I may. Those of you that are tuned in, we just want to let you know that on Sunday, May the 15th, we will be having our two-year church anniversary. Yeah! service and 10 o'clock a.m. service. We would Amen. love to see you in person on that day. God bless you. You ready to receive the word? Well, let's receive the word. Let's pray. Let's go straight into the word. Every head bow, every eye closed. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence. And once again, we say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your love. Yes. Thank you for your grace. Yes. Thank you for forgiving us again and again and again. Yes. Thank you that your love supersedes our faults and our mistakes. But just like we took communion today, the blood of Jesus Christ washes our sins away. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses our consciousness. So now, Lord God, our hearts are open to receive your word today. So at home and in this house, cause the word of God to grow, excel, and succeed. Cause the word of God to bring us into a place of awe and respect and honor for your name. And we declare today, no flesh shall be glorified in your sight. We lift up the name of Jesus. And if he be lifted up, he will draw today. So, Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, God bless you. We've been teaching on being filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Today will be our final lesson on that. We, we are grateful to the Lord for the word. And as I said to you, you don't have to believe me. Just study the scriptures for yourself and to find out what the word of God says is true. Because it is the, the, I said in the 8.30 service, the reason why we don't pursue this is because we're ignorant and unlearned of the scriptures. Because the scriptures that I've given you have been in the Bible before you were born. Mm -hmm. Being filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, there are just too many scriptural references for you to deny that it's not true. The Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. What? Let every word be established. Well, we're giving you beyond that. And so it is God's will for us to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, what pastor does, do we not know this? Or we, do, we, if we haven't been taught it, it's because the enemy fights against this. Why? Because it is the power of God. It is the power that will ultimately set you free from your sins, from your depression, from your sickness, from your disease, from your boredom and marriages. Uh, from any elements or situations or challenges that we're going through. To be filled with the Holy Ghost is the power of God. Well, Pastor, get, get, tell me what Jesus said about it. <laughs> Jesus said, don't leave Jerusalem <laughs> until you be endowed or endued with power. Yeah. Well, because of the study of the scripture, we found out that this power <laughs> is 50 days after Jesus' ascension into heaven. And on the 50th they call Pentecost. Pentecost means 50. And they were all together in one place on one court. So let's, let's turn it down for reference because well, we just kind of going over some things. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. The Bible says, on the day of Pentecost, they were fully, they were all uh, had fully come. They were all, they were all, they were all 120 people. They were all filled. They were on one accord, and suddenly, a uh, sound from heaven, as the rushing mighty wind filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared unto them divided tongues, or, 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 or as a fire, and sat upon each of them. Verse 4. And they were all, they were all filled. Why were they filled? First of all, Jesus told them to wait for it. Why were they filled? They had an expectation that it was coming. I say, they had. An expectation that it was coming. Yeah. How did you know? They waited 50 days. Yeah. So it's clear that they had an expectation of what Jesus said was true. Right. They waited 50 days. And then all of a sudden, this wind blows through. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, they started speaking in other tongues. The Bible says they were all filled. That was our first reference. Our second reference was, was um, Acts chapter 10. Then you got Peter and Cornelius. They were both saved. But the difference between the two men was Cornelius was not 
filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. So yeah. Peter goes to Cornelius' house. All you got to do is go home and read the scriptures, and you'll find out that we'll tell you it's true. Mm -hmm. And so when Peter starts preaching, and Peter said, I perceive that God has no respect for persons because you're black. Amen. I use that in there. He said because they were Jews. Jews thought they were better than Gentiles. Well, Peter found out God loves everybody. Amen. Peter found out God wants us all saved. Mm -hmm. Peter found out God wants us all filled with the Holy Ghost. So what happened? Peter's preaching, and the Holy Ghost came upon all of them in Cornelius' house. His children, his grandchildren, his wife, everybody that was in the house got filled with the Holy Ghost. And then, then we found out that's, that's the second witness. The third witness is Acts chapter 19. You got Paul, Apollos at the river with Paul. Two great apostles, two great preachers. Mm -hmm. But Paul goes to Apollos and to the church of Ephesus and he says to them, have y'all received the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. And they said, we haven't even heard that there be any Holy Ghost because we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So Paul brings knowledge to Apollos and to the local church. And they said, watch this, saints. They didn't have 12 week sessions. They didn't have a, a, a seminar. They didn't have a conference. Paul told them there was something else you need besides salvation. They believed him. He laid hands on them and they started speaking. It didn't take two hours. It didn't take 12 days. See, saints, the reason why you like this is because you don't truly really believe it. Yeah. See, the, the whole thing about faith, this is what this is why God fell in love with Abraham. He believed it. Yeah. 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 This is why you're going to receive your healing. Yeah. You believe he's yeah. a healer. Yeah. This is passion for me because I grew up in a Baptist traditional church. I love the Baptists. God bless them. Amen. They got me saved. So praise God. Amen. But in my traditional setting, I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about the Baptists all over the world. I'm talking about my experience. Yeah. Amen. They lack knowledge. Mm -hmm. Good people love God. Yeah. No power. Yeah. Good people yeah. go to church, give, shout, praise God. No power. Yeah. And this is what's happening with the people at Acts chapter 19. They found out that Peter, uh, Peter Paul comes to the church. He found out, how can y'all be doing church? How can y'all be doing kingdom without power? That's why the divorce rate is high in church. No power. This is the reason why our marriage is failing. People refuse to submit to God and do what God says. I, I will never leave my wife, I will never leave my family, I will never leave my God because I love God. God has already proven to himself, proven to Leroy Barnes Jr. that he's faithful. Yeah. Right. Right. He's already proven to me he can get me out of debt. Yeah. He's already proven to me he's a healer. Yeah. He's already proven to me that he loves me in regards to my faults and my sins. Yeah. Because his blood cleans me. Yeah. Man, I found out that he remembers my sins no more as far as the east is from the west. Yeah. And you and I can't go from the east to the west and be at the same place at the same time. Because yeah. it's a constant circle. Mm -hmm. You never meet it. Yeah, that's right. So that's why the scripture says, as far as your sins are from the east from the west, yeah. so far have I remembered your sins. You know what he said? He don't remember your sins. That's right. And when I found out, according to the scripture, that I'm forgiven, then I said to myself, God, no, he really do love me. And when I found out that he really does love me, I stopped sinning. Because I realized, why would God die for me and I continue to live a righteous lifestyle? Mm -hmm. That's why when the original, uh, the, uh, uh, the prodigal son, the, I, I believe all of us got to come to a place where we come to ourselves. Yeah. Uh, right. You can't serve God until you come to yourself. Yeah. Right? What does that mean? I can't do this without God. Right. Right. I, I can't be I married without God. Mm -hmm. I think I think possible without God. I think there are things I gotta have God. I can't be married and be happy without God. I can't be a single and be satisfied in my single state without God. I can't see my kids in college without God. Except God be with me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Here we found out that all these people got filled with the Holy Ghost. And then we come to this. First Corinthians chapter 13. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. We're going to find out that the, that the baptism in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in 
of the tongues is for today. There will come a time it will cease. There will come a time it will stop. But that's not until Jesus comes. But Jesus is not here yet, so I need to pray. He does. Okay. Well, let me prove it to you. Love never fails. Whether that be prophecies, the prophetic ministry, it will fail. Because there's going to come a time when we won't need a prophet. Because Jesus is here. Yes. Right, let me give you an example. Remember, that was part of a portion of the scriptures where when Jesus had his disciples following him, mm -hmm. and the Sadducees asked him, why don't your, 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 your disciples fast, like we fast? Mm -hmm. He said, well, why would they? I'm here. Because the purpose of fasting is to get close to God and, and petition God for things I'm going through. Well, he's here. I just got to say, Jesus, I'm sick. Can you lay hands on me and heal me? You're healed. <laughs> Jesus, I'm broken and struggling. Can you, can you minister to me based on my finances? Well, Peter, go fish. That's right. The answer was there. Yes. My wife is tripping. There's a word from the Lord. I asked Jesus, he said, what do you do with my life? You said, what do you do with my life? But so Jesus is no longer here. He's in heaven, right? Mm -hmm. So now I must ask. Mm -hmm. Now I must pray in Holy Ghost. So let, let's finish it. Mm -hmm. Whether there are tongues, evidence of speaking in tongues here, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know it part, we prophesy in part. But, but verse 10 is the clincher, verse 10. But when that which is perfect has come, that's not about Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's good. Yeah. But that's talking about Christ and his word. The word is perfect, but I am not. Right. So how do I come to the knowledge of scriptures and the truth of the scriptures? I must study and I must pray in the Holy Ghost. Why? So God can speak to me because I only know in part. <laughs> That's why, see now, if I only know in part, Jesus is not here. When Jesus shows up, I know everything. Because he's here. Are y'all following me? Yeah. The scripture is saying tongues will cease, but that's not now. Prophecy will cease, but it's not now. It ceases when Jesus comes back for the church. But Jesus is still in heaven. So how do I pray? I need to pray in the Holy Ghost. Why? It produces the power I need to overcome this world. Come on. Yeah. 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 You see all look, but I can just do counseling alone. Phone calls I get every single day. People I gotta talk to and minister to because they lack the power of God. At the end of the day, you gotta come out of yourself and you gotta put yourself in Christ yeah. and you gotta get filled with the Holy Ghost. You need yeah. both. You need to get saved and you need to get filled. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what this is talking about. Also, he's talking about verse 11. Watch this. Verse 11. He gives an example of how it is with the Holy Spirit, baptism in the Holy Ghost, and he gives an example of not having it. Watch the example Jesus uses. When I was a child, when I didn't have the Holy Ghost, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. And we know how childs are, children are. They fall. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are bad. You know how we say they're bad children. Some of them are they ignorant, they unlearn, they don't listen. Because they're immature. With, without the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's a comparison of, of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If you go up to verse 8, they're talking about prophecies and praying in tongues, spiritual things. He's giving an example of it without, without being filled or without the prophetic word. You act like children. <laughs> the purpose of being filled with the Holy Ghost is to grow you. Yes. To mature you. So you can stop being childish. Yes. And then he says, I thought as a child, when I became a man, or when I got filled with the Spirit, what did I do when I get filled with the Spirit? I put away my childish things. Yes. Let me give you my next example. Right. Before I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I was married for seven years, and marriage was hell. Yes. Marriage was horrible. Marriage was terrible. I hated to go home, and she hated to see me come. <laughs> terrible. Until I got filled with the Holy Ghost. Then I started praying in other tongues. Why did I do that? Because it builds me up. It's my personal prayer language. It's my connection. It's a direct line. You call it the White House. There's a direct line. It's a White House. There's a direct line to my God. Because my natural language or my natural words are limited. Yeah. But God is unlimited. That's right. That's right. That's right. Watch this. I put away childish things. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Now, for now, for now, right now today. Yeah. Now, we yeah. see in a mirror mm -hmm. dimly. This world system is trying to blind us. Yeah, right. How do I take the scales off? Praying in the Holy Ghost. 
Because it's a comparison scripture. He's comparing prophecies and tongues. And he's, he's, he's saying that because we're living in this world, we don't understand everything. Right. We're confused about life. How do I come out of the, the, the confusion? Praying in the Holy Ghost. What that is? God will speak to me. Yeah. God will reveal to me. Yeah. He will tell me what will happen tomorrow yeah. about this time. Right. Yeah. Because the Holy Spirit is what? A helper. Yes, yes. But we see it dimly because Jesus is not here. But men, we are face to face. Face to face with Christ. Face to face with the Word. And I don't need prophecies. I don't need to know Jesus is here. That's right. Watch what he says. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also I am known. He's saying there, the revelation of Jesus Christ comes to me when I spend time praying. And you know why this is hard for all saints? It takes discipline. Mm -hmm. And a lot of saints don't like this. That's right. Mm -hmm. Every single day, I, I have to watch this. When I was going through marital turmoil, and I had a little bit of kids in, in elementary school, middle school at the time, and things were terrible, because it's easy to quit. It's easy to walk away and say, I my kids. But a brother decided, I'm going to be a field coming up. A brother decided. I'm going to be the man in my house. I'm going to be responsible for my life. And, and my wife never respected me until she saw me every single day in my prayer closet. Then all of a sudden, about, about, about a year later, now she tell her, shh, that friend, shh, y'all need that at all. Because she needs this man to be praying. Yeah. She needs this man to be studying the word of God. Yeah. She needed this man to get before the presence of God. She needed this man. Was he perfect? No. Was he the smartest? No. Was he the most intelligent? No. But he had God's call on his life. Yeah. You know the one thing that made, that made God love Abraham? Mm -hmm. He just simply believed what God said. Yeah. And, and I'm giving you the scriptures about being filled with the Holy Ghost so your level can come up. Yeah. You're struggling in your life. You're struggling in your business. You're struggling in your relationship. You're struggling in all these things because there is no power. Because Jesus made it perfectly clear. Don't leave. Don't Right. <laughs> and it's hard being there without God. Well, yes, it's hard being yes, single without God. That's right. Yeah, 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 that's all the pleasures of sin. It's, it's, it's pleasurable, it's sinful, and it's pleasurable because I like it. Amen. But then to have the strength yes, to say no. Come on, come on, come on. Because I pray yeah. in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Power comes on my life. Yeah, yeah. And I can stand the test of time. Yeah. Because God's power is within me. Power. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1. It's time for the day, absolutely. Yes, it is. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1. Pursue love. Mm -hmm. Desire spiritual gifts. But especially, next verse, but especially prophecy. Prophecy, declare, and decree because we're kings. I just want you to hear this portion. For he who speaks in tongue does not speak to me, but to God. That means that's my personal prayer language. This is making a comparison to tongues personal mm -hmm. and tongues corporately in the church. Mm -hmm. So let me give you an illustration. At home, I pray in the morning in, in the Holy Ghost, me, me and my God, and that's a personal prayer mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the church, it is said, uh, and we have this experience a couple of times here. I can sense in the service, God has a word. So I ask the question, is that a word from the Lord? Mm -hmm. Somebody raises their hand. And said, Pastor, I have a word from the Lord. I said, okay, my brother and my sister, what's the word? And they all start praying in tongues. See, bro, go, let me 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 go, let so then what's the question I must ask the service? Is that an interpreter? Right. Then another person will stand and say, Pastor, I got the answer to that word. Yeah. And then they'll give the answer in what? English. English. Yeah. That's what this is. That's what that is. We're talking about two things about being filled with the Holy Spirit. We're talking about this as a spiritual gift. Mm -hmm. But that's not what I'm teaching. What I'm teaching is your personal prayer language. That's right. yeah. Your personal prayer language, God don't need to interpret. Amen. God knows exactly what's being said. Yeah. The devil don't know what's being said. Right. You know the, the, the 
the, the Bible says of uh, 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 spiritual demons and, and those atmospheres that they are there seeking such who they can, can devour. Mm -hmm. They can't they can just attack you. Mm -hmm. But they're looking for an open door to yeah. see. They're trying to get a foothold yeah. yeah. through your feet, yeah. you know, through your bed the word. They're trying to get into your life and get into your heart because you speak death instead of speaking life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. And so you open up the door like that door. It was Job's word that caused the devil to come in. That's right. It wasn't God. It was Job's word. That's right. Because Job didn't spend time praying. Job spent time complaining. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the enemy came in like a rushing mighty wind, destroying his whole life and family until he said, It's me, Lord. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know how he got the revelation it was him? Until Job prayed for his friends. That's right. Until Job started praying. What we're trying to get you to understand, man and woman of God, is I'm laying out scriptures in the Bible to get you to understand that it is the will of God for you to speak in other tongues. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, that's my third reference. Mm -hmm. Look at that ministry that I'm talking about this. Let's put this one up. 1 Corinthians 14, 13. 1 Corinthians 14 and 13. It's coming up. Watch this. Therefore, let him who speaks in tongue pray. This is the difference between private tongues and interpretation. That's right. Let him pray that he may interpret in the local church. Mm -hmm. Pray in tongues, pray in the spirit, but my understanding is approved of verse 15. What is the conclusion? Paul says, I will pray with my spirit, mm -hmm. and I will also pray with the understanding. I will sing in the spirit, I will sing with the understanding, the interpretation. The understanding part is the interpretation. 16. Otherwise, if you bless with the spirit, because praying in the Holy Ghost is a blessing. Mm -hmm. How will he who occupies the church be uninformed and say amen if you don't have an interpreter inside the church? How can I say an amen, which means I agree? What should we, what should we say? At your giving of thanks, since he does not understand, verse 17, for you indeed give thanks well, but the other is not edified, which means he's not, he doesn't have understanding to agree. 16 is the question. Watch this. Oh, 16 was the 18. 18 is the question. Yes, 18. When Paul is bringing order in the church, only two or three people at a time can give a word. And one friend in the Holy Ghost, you have to have an interpreter in the local body. At my home, in my personal prayer life, I don't need an interpreter. Right. It's just me and God. Right. Here, you got to have an interpreter. Right. Watch what Paul says. I thank my God that I pray in tongues more than y'all. That's, that's your fourth witness. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let every word be established. It is the will of God. If Paul needed it, needed it you need it. Amen. And Paul said, I think my God that pretty tongue for y'all. You know what he said? You know what he said about that? He did it constantly. Yes. It wasn't a one hour thing. He did it constantly. How do you know? He wrote two thirds of all the New Testaments. He was the apostle to the church of Ephesus, to the church at Corinth. He got the church at Rome. He was the apostle, the premier apostle. He gave it. Yeah, yeah. He, he started praying in the Holy Ghost. People was receiving. Yeah. Watch this, people. Listen, 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 listen. I'm sorry. When because he prayed constantly in the Holy Ghost, revelation came to him about the churches. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, revelation comes to you about your house. Right? Yeah. Amen. 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 He said, "I pray in tongues more than ye all." Mm -hmm. Yeah, tongues is for the day. Mm -hmm. And the, the, you want to know how strong this revelation is? But for, for Paul. God had to allow a thorn in his flesh to keep him at a place of humility so he wouldn't walk up in pride because of the revelation that was coming to him about the churches. Yes. And God committed it. That's good word, Pastor. Because there are people at, in the Corinthian church, church like it is in many churches today. People want to show off their gift. Mm -hmm. People want to remain humble. Oh, people just yeah. want to show off what God is doing in my life. When you ought to remain humble, yeah. this is the Lord's doing. Show, show you that I can. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to pray to show you that I'm a prophet. I don't need to pray to show you that he's blessing my life. I need to show you Christ yeah. in me. Yeah. 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 
by the grace of God. Yes. Yes. So let's do this. Let's give nine benefits. Why it's important that I got to be feeling. Nine benefits and then we're done. Number one. Jude 1 and 20, uh, it's not a chapter, it's actually verse 20. Jude 1 and 20. The half brother of Jesus is Jude. Mm -hmm. Number one, it builds you up. It, builds me up. it pray in the Holy Ghost in your personal life, in your personal prayer time, it builds you up. Because it clearly says, but you, you say, everybody say me. 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 Beloved, you know he's talking to the church, to the body of Christ. Beloved. Building yourselves up. Why is he saying that? Because there's so much tearing you down. That's right. Man, mm -hmm. many of us right now, the song of my voice, going through all kinds of challenges in your life. Yeah. And it's okay. Start praying in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. What's going to happen? Yeah. This situation in my life is about to change. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because I need quit. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I didn't give up. Yeah. I decided to go into my secret place. Yeah. Verse 14 and 4. First 
Corinthians 14 and 4. He who speaks in tongues edifies. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is he talking about? What does edify mean? It means to instruct. Mm -hmm. God has something to say. That's right. Right. That's right. And he brings, set your house in order, he brings instructions to you yeah, 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 yeah. for your house. Yes. yes. My God. So whoever the head is, and should be your man, your husband, mm -hmm. or if you're single, you're the head. Okay. But he brings instruction to the head so we can set our houses in order. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the prophetic yeah. word was at the beginning of the year, that's not going to happen unless you have power. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Because I know prophets who had the gift of prophecy and was accurate, addicted to our uh, gambling. <laughs> Uh, wow. I know powerful preachers who are eloquent in their speech. Homosexual. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? They stop doing this. Yes. Right. Because all of us are subject to a fall. That's Be right. careful how I treat you. Be careful how you treat me. Because we're all subject to a fall. But if you stay in the prison of God, right. it brings profit. That means to instruct, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to enlighten, mm -hmm. to inform. It means to improve the quality of your life. Did y'all hear that one? Mm -hmm. It means to improve the quality of your life. And it also means to uplift. Number four, yes. benefit or be filled. It helps you to magnify God. Because in your own strength, yes. you're living. Mm -hmm. yeah, but this happened to me. I don't know if this happened to some of y'all. Without the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. I only pray in English. And you, you, by the time you pray for you, your family, mm -hmm. your children, your business, your life, and you be like, what about a little bit? And then, you, and then you run out of things to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. That don't happen with the Holy Ghost. No. The Bible says it's like a river. Yeah. Yeah. It flows. Yeah. You ever been to a waterfall? Yeah. You ever been to the beach? Yeah. It don't run out of water. Yeah. And when you feel the Holy Ghost, you don't run out of word. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. You, know, you never run out of word. Yes, yes. He says here, uh, 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 let me give my scripture references. Glory God. You magnify God. What does magnify mean? I worked in downtown Houston mm -hmm. for over 30 years. And I'm retired now. I worked downtown for over 30 years. And those buildings tower. You know, you walk around, we are going around the buildings. And they're only big, they're only huge because you're on ground level. Yeah. But you take a flight. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Those yeah. same yeah, yeah. do not intimidate you. Yeah, Those right. same buildings look this small. Mm -hmm. When you're on the flight looking down, you be like, ooh, wee, that's what you used to look like from up here. Uh -huh. And then you find out it's this small. It depends on the level you go up. Yeah. 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 The Holy Ghost builds you yeah. up. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. 
then fear. This is at the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Verse 43. Mm -hmm. Then fear came upon every person. Every person. And, watch this, after the falling of the feeling of the Spirit. After. Everybody say after. 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 You get saved first, mm -hmm. then you get filled. Mm -hmm. Then everybody say after. 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 Say it again. I mean, this is on purpose. You get saved first, uh -huh. then you get filled. Yeah. And everybody shout after. After. One is the science. Okay. Okay. And that is for the church. Yes. Now, let's define what one is this so we can understand it. One just means miracles. Mm -hmm. Something to marvel at. God is going to do something significant in your life and it's going to come yeah. tomorrow. I receive yeah. it. So Amen. Amen. I receive yes, it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A surprise. Thank you, Lord. A banner, like the flag, a victorious banner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's translated amazement. I love this one. It's translated awe. What is God going to do in the life of Leroy and Ben Boy while my mouth falls to the floor? And I go, Oh, oh, that's right. Don't you know, yeah. for you to know, oh, God got to really do something significant in your life. Yeah. 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 And don't shout down surprise me. And that word is science. Science is translated as a reminder. You know, stop saying. You better stop. Uh, you uh, uh, so have uh, to stop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a reminder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a memorial. It's an assurance that God is faithful. It's, it's a confirmation. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a confirmation. Yeah. It also means miracles. What, what, what kind of example can you give me of wonders? Moses at the Red Sea. You know that's a wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joshua and made the sun to stand still yeah, for 24 hours. Yeah. The whole world stopped turning because a man believed God. That's yeah. a wonder. That's yeah. right. The three Hebrew boys. Mm -hmm. And they came out of the fiery furnace without the smell yeah. of smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. God can do something so significant in your life, you <laughs> forgot about what happened 30 years ago. You don't even remember the pain of your pain. Yeah. Because of the goodness of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Jesus walking on the water. Yes. yes. So one. Jesus speaking to the winds and the waves yeah. and they yeah. 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 How did they do that? He had power. power. Yeah. Hallelujah. God can change Glory the course of nature. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Nothing yeah. is impossible for God. Yeah. Mm. Number six, Benedict. Jesus. Praying in the Holy Ghost keeps our prayers in line with God's will. Romans right. 8 to 26. Romans 8 and 26. And then we're going to go straight to Isaiah 28, brother. Good. And then we'll, we're, we're going we're to close it out. Keep our prayers in line with God's will. Likewise, the Spirit, when well, you know that's not talking about salvation, yeah. also does what? Yeah. He helps us. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit is a helper. Yeah. So being filled the Holy Spirit benefits you. It helps you. Yes. In our what? Weakness. We we and all of us got it. Don't say you don't all of us got it. Amen. 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 All of us have something we're working on. Yes. Amen. Amen. So it's not for me to point out to my husband, my wife, or my girlfriend, or my mama, you did this thing about that. It's about me working on me. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. To make myself the best. Yes. So I need to get filled on the so I can pray. And what happens? It causes me to come out of my weakness. When a man was cursed for that, that's just like sell. Not holding the law. I'm talking about like tearing up furniture, breaking TV, yeah. Yeah. because I had anger issues. Yeah. Yeah. Then I, by the time I come down, and then I look, oh my God, I got paid for TV. Yeah. Oh my God, I got spent money on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm in deeper debt. Yeah. Because yeah. I can't control my weakness. Yeah. 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 But what broke me out? What got? Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. 
is. You can stay sick. You can stay upset. You can stay angry. Yes, no you more. Do. But God says, no, no more. Says. There's power available. Yeah. So call you to overcome that Thank part you, and put you in a home uh, if you can leave. Yeah. 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 You to yeah. No more. Right, right. Call you to overcome your weakness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you, I used to be broke, now I'm blessed. Yes. 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 I used to be sick, now God made me healthy. Yes. Healthy yes. is better. Yes. Yes. I used to have confusion in my house, cursing and all. Yes. Now you walk into my home, you will experience the peace yes. of your house. Church. Then he says, now 
God, when you pray in tongues, you give praise well. You honor God well. Because there's a level beyond your natural language. I just want you to get this one part. And we're going to close with this last one. James 3 and 8. Now this is big. Why? Because you need to tame your tongue. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. All right. Because so many of us, so you know the reason why praying in the Holy Ghost brings peace and calm? So you can control your emotions. You know yes, how we are. You know yeah. how we are. Yeah. I'm not going to get some folks yeah. 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 You know how some of us get you. Amen. Amen. When we get upset, we get yeah. mad, we get angry, Woo. and we start calling you out. Yeah. I'm calling you up and your mama too. Yeah. And these bad baby children are out. And you, yes. all, you and I, yes. we all start going off. Yes. Help me. Because we can't control yeah. our tongue. When the Bible still says, Tell them life. Oh, well, in the house. Yeah. Yeah. But what did James say? No man can tame the tongue. That's right. But God is not me. That's right. That's right. No man.
other tongues. I don't like the word that. In other tongues. So that you can receive what? Power. My brother, this is a reason why you still struggle. Mm. You've been in church, or this church, you've been saved for 10, 15 years. Why are you still struggling with you? Mm. Come on. Mm. That's right. You're a pastor. Why are you still struggling with women? You're a prophetess. Why are you struggling with that by talking about people? But you're a prophetess. Why are you still got that struggle? Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Why are you still can't love your wife? You've been married for about 30 years, you ought to have figured this out. Yeah. And y'all still not clicking together. Yeah. But then you look at this couple and say, if I can do it like they do, no, do it like you do it. Yeah. Get filled and start praying. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see the results of yeah. power. Yeah, yeah. Because Jesus said, yeah. 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 don't leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the problem with the church, the modern day church, we lack the power. That's why we sit. <laughs> Paul said, Jesus. when it comes to communion, take the communion, but repeat. Be careful how you treat your brothers and sisters. Yes. Why? That's why we sit and we die the whole time. Mm. Because I'm mistreating the body. I'm mistreating yeah. you. Yeah. So I got to stop talking about you and start praying for you. Yeah. If the Bible says pray for the end, sure, I got to pray for the brother who say you love me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Why would God tell me to pray for my enemies? If I'm my brother right here, who I love, yeah, exactly. I can pray for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. We're doing these things on our own strength and our own power. And that's why we're here. Yeah, so now we have to repeat. Yeah. Everybody say Jesus. Because that's what we're going to do as a church. Amen. We're just going to repeat. Amen. 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 We're just going to repeat. And at home, I want you to pray with us and do the same thing. I'm not going to ask you to get saved if you're going to hold those shit. I'm just, the first thing we're going to do is repeat. Amen. And we're just going to say, Lord, everybody repeat after me, Lord. Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. For not accepting your word. For not accepting your word. Lord. Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. For how I have. For how I have. Mistreated the body. Mistreated the body. Lord. Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. For not honoring you. Come on. For not honoring you. Say, Lord. Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. For not honoring my husband. For not honoring my husband. Lord. Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me.